people during a celebration in France earlier today. France's president is calling this a terrorist attack. Here with reaction tonight is former Speaker of the House. Newt Gingrich is with us. Mr. Speaker, I don't want to really tie this into politics, but every issue America is now dealing with, every issue that we have discussed in recent months and years about the Islamization of Europe, about refugees, about immigration, about open borders, it seems to come together, and also political correctness and not recognizing radical Islamic terrorism as the enemy and evil in our time. From your perspective, what does this tragedy, this evil attack tonight mean for that conflict and debate? Well, first of all, Sean, as you know, I was in Paris just last weekend talking with people who are deeply involved in trying to deal with the Iranian government and other sources of terrorism. Uh, and let me also say Daniel Silva has a remarkable new novel called Black Widow, and the entire opening section is on the systematic Islamic attack on Jews in France, which is the worst it's been since the Nazis. So let me, let me start with where I'm coming from, and let me be as blunt and as direct as I can be. Western civilization is in a war. We should, frankly, test every person from here who's, who is of a Muslim background, and if they believe in Sharia, they should be deported. Sharia is incompatible with Western civilization. Modern Muslims who have given up Sharia, glad to have them as citizens, perfectly happy to have them next door. But we need to be fairly relentless about defining who our enemies are. Anybody who goes on a website favoring ISIS uh, or Al-Qaeda or other terrorist groups, that should be a felony, and they should go to jail. Any organization which hosts such a website should be engaged in a felony. It should be closed down immediately. Our forces should be used to systematically destroy every Internet-based source. And frankly, if we can't destroy them through the Internet, we should destroy them with kinetic power, using various weapons, starting with predators, uh, and, and just, frankly, just killing them. Uh, I am sick and tired of being told that the wealthiest, most powerful civilization in history, all of Western civilization, is helpless in the face of a group of medieval barbarians who, for example, recently burned 20 young women to death, burned them to death because they wouldn't have sex with them. A group which beheaded recently in the Philippines two Canadian businessmen. And we're told to be reasonable, to be passive, to not judge. Well, I just want to tell you tonight, everybody who watches this video, this is the fault of Western elites who lack the guts to do what is right, to do what is necessary, and to tell us the truth. And that starts with Barack Obama. Um, that's a powerful statement. I agree wholeheartedly. Let me go back to the beginning of your statement.